Cherula was declared as being open defecation free in 2016. However, the fecal sludge produced has largely been unmanaged by the state. The potential for environmental contamination was compounded by the advent of the uniquely disastrous floods in July and August of 2018. Therefore, the government of Kerala and UNICEF have collaborated to construct sustainable fecal sludge treatment plants, FSTPs, and one such plant has successfully been constructed in Vainard district. The 10,000 litres capacity FSTP in Vainard uses Tiger Biofilter technology, which is a highly effective, space efficient, and 100% natural way of treating fecal sludge. The technology was developed by Primove and executed in association with TBF Environmental Solutions with funding and support from UNICEF. The technology has four stages. The anaerobic treatment, vermifiltration 1, vermifiltration 2 and polishing. To begin with, the septage is collected in the receiving tanks through suction trucks. It is then passed through a series of anaerobic tanks which contain an inoculum which helps to decompose the waste matter to a certain degree. The effluent from the anaerobic tanks is then sent to the vermifiltration beds which is stage 2 of the process and is housed inside a shed. The vermifiltration beds are the heart of the process and is a superior form of sanitation technology. Vermi refers to earthworms, which are known to promote digestion of organic waste and its conversion into compost. Tiger worms are in particular effective in converting waste. There are different bays and this is where it fixes the odor and does a synchronous treatment of liquid as well as conversion of solids into odorless and useful vermi compost. It consists of special biomedia consisting of earthworms, a consortium of bacteria and organic matter. The biomedia is underlain by a filter bed. As the effluent is released from the anaerobic tanks, it is put onto the beds which also work like a solid liquid separator so the liquids are allowed to pass through, whereas the solids are trapped. As the solids get trapped, they are immediately acted upon by a consortium of bacteria and earthworms. As a result, you get direct conversion of sludge into compost. So, it requires no drying of sludge over a long period and the process remains odorless. The liquids that pass through the system are collected with a pipe network from each of the bays and taken to a tank. The tanks contain a submersible pump of 0.5 HP, which pumps the effluent onto tiger biofilter beds, which are housed inside crates. It treats the liquid effluent very effectively and converts the organics inside the effluent into vermicompost. Therefore, there is no sludge handling even at this stage. Each crate treats about 500 litres in a day. The vermicompost formed during the process of waste digestion is collected inside the inner blue crates and can be harvested from time to time. The effluent from stage 3 is collected into another underground tank from where it is taken to stage 4 which is the polishing stage. It contains of a pressure sand filter and an activated carbon filter which helps remove the color. From these filters, it is passed through a chlorination device called Pure All System, which is a gravity-based chlorination. It disinfects the effluent, which is then collected in the treated water tank. And this treated water can easily be used for irrigation and gardening and can be recycled.